<laughs> Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome your faces to part 8 of our Master League series. Today we're back with the Porto game. Today is a very important game. I think if we win this one, we are basically qualified for the Champions League knockout rounds. And we've got a big choice to make today because a lot of our players are feeling tired. So let's choose my team for today. So this is my squad lineup for today. I've changed one or two players out of the squad. Some players I didn't want to move out, like De Gea. De Gea is absolutely knackered. If we go with him in goal, he's only got like lit pretty much like half a bar of energy. So we're gonna to have to go with Romero today because we need De Gea to get back fully match fit and ready for next game. Pogba is not feeling it as well today, but I've got him on the bench just in case. But I feel like this is still a confident powerful squad that we've got lined up for today but let's jump into the match and um see on how we do rashford oh mate that should have gone in that was such a beautiful little cross in there from herrera that should have gone in that was just like set up beautifully Wow. I cannot believe what we just witnessed there. That was just like... Honestly, that was really nice to see. That was like a, a really nice goal. Is that got a replay of that? Just like a... <laughs> like, that was like a proper like karate kick kind of like kick going in. Is that from this angle? Cha! This is like... Oh, so one nil down within the first ten minutes of the game. Oh, Sanchez, Sanchez, finish it! You should have finished that, mate. Quality of your kind of play should have put that in the back of the net. One nil. Lovely cross in there, Sanchez, stepping up to the plate. He does well in these Champions League league games, I find. Sanchez does. I find it's kind of like more his competition. He comes alive. Because obviously, we play with him in the Premier League. He's a bit quieter, but the Champions League games, he always steps up, he does. It kind of reminds me of um, Mkhitaryan last season in the Europa League. He always steps up in the Europa League, he did. And it's kind of the same with Sanchez, stepping up in the Europa League. Uh, not, uh, Champions League, sorry, like playing in Europe a little bit more than the Premier League. Nice one. No, how? It's the same kind of style again. He just like flings his leg out. He gets it every time. Literally, their first attacks are scoring. And they've literally just gone another goal ahead. Just look at the replay of this. So it's sitting off them, get their centre back going. At the moment, the midfield, mate, the midfield of my team doesn't really... I'm missing Pogba on my team today, I really am. Because Herrera has got that bulkiness like Pogba does in the midfield. Obviously, we've got Matic, who's still a bulky player. But Matic, I, I, I don't think I've had... Well, there he is now, but I'm, I don't think, I'm not seeing him all game. Rashford! Second time tonight, Rashford has missed in front of goal. If Lukaku or Zatan was playing up top, they would have got to that and finished it. Going in at half time, 2 1 down. I think I'm going to have to make a change in the midfield. Herrera has been absolutely horrible today, mate. He is not being like committing to like making moves or anything today. So I'm going to make a substitution for Herrera. I don't know why he's not performing, but I'm going to. Just run risk, even though he has got the, he's got red arrow. I'm gonna bring Pogba on, and I'm gonna take Rashford off as well, and I'm gonna bring on someone like Zatan. I feel like Z someone like Zatan can really do something up top for us. Sanchez stepping up again. Sanchez is a beast, mate. Today he's been our freaking savior today. Passing out to the wing, running up the wing, calling for Zatan to run into the box, and Sanchez is getting there with that header to make it 2 2. Marshall! Unlucky, mate, unlucky. 
So we're going to make our last substitution for the game now. I'm calling him on now because Marshall, you've been absolutely brilliant today, but we need a bit of Mkhitaryan up front if we want to go grab these three points because he's been our star player so far this season and I need someone like him to come on the pitch and really rinse that right wing for me. So, ended nil-nil. Well, no, not nil-nil, 2-2, two, two, so I mean like a draw. Um, and... Literally brought my guitar in off, mate. We haven't had a chance to get get the ball to him. I don't think he touched the ball in the last 10 minutes of the game now. Literally was pushing and pushing, trying to get our third goal, but we could not get it. So it ended 2-2. Not nil-nil, like I just said. <laughs> um, but that, that was a very, very tough game to play today. But at least we got a draw. We got a point. Their man in the match freaking deserved today. Jones, man. Well, Jones is our weakest defensive. Wow. Rashford really didn't do anything but Sanchez mate, Sanchez was my man in the match today stepping up when we need him to and I think it's a quality sign in that we made there with him so um, I won't go through the scores, if you do want to have like a little browse I will pause the video and you can have a look with Man City winning there, we've got Juventus winning um, oh Dortmund losing, ooh, let's have a go look at the group stage now, there we are 8 points at the moment literally two points off Porto one point behind but Barca is one point off us but at least we haven't lost a game yet within the Champions League that's one important thing there's one positive thing we could take away from this we've won two we've drawn two and we haven't lost even though Porto haven't lost yet they've drawn three games mate three games so the owner has come out to us to the saying basically he wants us to beat Man City today. Don't worry, my friend. That's why I rested pretty much Mkhitaryan in last game. Rested Lukaku and beat De Gea because I knew we had this Manchester derby today. And I want to make sure we wallop them. Making sure we send the message to the other clubs. We I mean business. We're after for the league. To, after the league. And we are not settling for anything less. Second for me is not a victory. Or anything like that. I'll see qualify for Champions League again. But I want that Premier League this season. Here we go. All the boys are gathering up for the Manchester Derby. All psyched and ready. I'm ready for this match. So looking at the squads now. I'm literally sat here comparing. Like what we're we going to be going up against today. They've, obviously they've got a solid squad they have man. They've got a solid squad they have. And if we're just looking at them. It's like our, it's our attacking line compared to theirs. They've got an amazing attacking line. We've got an amazing attacking line. And I don't know if this is still a little glitch that is in the game. I don't know if it is or not. Um, if we look at mark settings, you can... I don't know. Oh, I used to be able to look... Uh, also, if it's Jonesy. I used to be able to look to see how tired they are. So you could tell, but you can't do that anymore. You used to, used to hit the back buttons. Um, and it tell you how tired they are, but it doesn't tell you no more. But we're literally going to be playing with a solid squad today. Um, I was thinking about the left wing. I've gone for Rashford on the left wing today. I've gone for a bit more pace I have um, on that left wing. Obviously, you've got Sanchez and uh, Rashford on there. Uh, I was going to play Luke Shaw because he's got the pace. But his arrow's red today. So, unlucky with that. But I'm feeling confident. And my prediction is we're going to come out of this game 2-0, people. 2-0. Here we go, all lined up in the tunnel, ready for the match. We're playing at home as well, which is, we've got that home advantage, which is nice, playing at Old Trafford. Also, no, it's not technically Old Trafford, but, you know, we pretend, use our imaginations, all right? Sanchez! Honestly, I was just looking at Lukaku. What's Lukaku doing? I was thinking, what's he doing? But he dragged out a centre-back there for Sanchez to run in through the middle to get that goal. I was literally, I was, I was commentating now, but I was just like watching Lukaku there for a moment. I was like, is he giving me an opportunity? I literally just watch Lukaku now. Just watch Lukaku. Like, Paul drags out a little bit to that left. Let, that opportunity for Sanchez to get in and scoop in to get a goal. Sanchez again open. No one else is around. Passes to Lukaku. Oh. I honestly thought... Honestly, thought Lukaku was going to get one there. I was, I could have like gone with Sanchez, but it was about to close down. I could have, I could have. Oh, 
their first attempt on goal. That could have been something dangerous there. Just want to look at that again. That could look full. Oh, how was that not in? Buffon, mate. Not a Buffon, bravo. He, that should have been in. But good reflexes from him there. Very in at half time. 1 0 up. We had our first attack of the game. Sanchez getting that goal for us. But so far, we've not really had much attempts, to be honest. We've got close, but 4 and 4, but not. Not ones that I'm proud of. We were kind of like, should have done a bit more better. Um, but overall, I'm happy with our performance so far. Man City, I feel like they're holding in at the moment. But the second half, I feel like that you've got to start seeing them blossom a little bit more and getting like, some more, get some more chances on goal because they've only had two shots so far. I thought I was going to go in, I was like, mm -hmm. I was hoping I was going to go in. So, making two substitutions now, bringing on Mata, and taking Sanchez off, and taking Lukaku off for Martial as well. Just kind of just rest Lukaku, because it's a long season, mate, long season, and we're 1-0 up at the moment, and I'm confident that we're going to win this now. Honestly, this has been such a dull second half, man. Nothing has really happened. Man City, I was hoping we were going to come more alive. It's been a little bit more organised at the back. That's about it. But 1-0, that game was. I thought it was going to be a bit like more hectic. Maybe I, also, I predicted 2-0 before the start of the game. But I'll take them three points on one goal. I'll take that. But honestly, I thought Man City were well, going to come out second half. Because the way they were playing in the first half, I was like... They're going to come out, mate. That means in the second half, they not, didn't have one shot. One shot. The first half, they had two shots on goal. Last half, they had none. That's insane. So, that puts us top of the table at the moment with with 25 points. But technically, we're only ahead because of goal difference, which is four goals. We need to keep improving our goal difference. Um... So we keep on maintaining. That's why Man City are not doing so well at the moment, man. They're not doing so well. That's why they're in 10th spot at the moment. Because they, for some reason, you look at it as scored on paper, mate. They look amazing, but it's just not clicking. So they're not doing well. But Swansea are doing incredible at the moment, which I find it insane. But uh, that was, um, thought it was going to be a bit more of an exciting game, to be honest. But that's all we've got time for today, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash the like button down below. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. It's November at the moment, so I'm starting to think about transfer targets, maybe. I'm going to quickly to pull my team up for you. If you've got any, like, players that you reckon I should bring in or sell, let me know in the comments down below. I want to get your input on this before going into the January window. Um, at the moment, only thing I can really think of maybe strengthening is maybe doing the midfield, maybe. Bringing in another big player. Um, someone who is dominant like Pogba in the middle. I know Pogba is unique, but maybe like a Tony Cruz for the middle. I'd love to bring in like someone like Tony Cruz. That would be great. So maybe see if we can ship out some players as well. But let me know in the comments down below. Do what do you reckon? Tony Cruz coming to Manchester United. Should I try and make that deal happen? Let me know in the comments down below. And do subscribe, turn the channel notifications on to be notified when there's a brand new video uploaded to the channel. Thank you all for watching today, guys. And next game we have got. West Ham United. Have yourself a great day, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.